This is the outfit. It's a bit wrinkly because I kind of just grabbed it out of the suitcase and put it on. But Jared is here now. We are going out to right here this morning with some friends. Um, we slept in there, so now it's more like brunch. Which is fine. And then we should probably go to the shops and get groceries. Oh, we can do that tomorrow as well, but I mean, today's a little bit easier. Since we are already out, get groceries, get some food for the house. Rocky. Ingredients and in that. We have a friend's engagement party this evening. And then I'm hoping for a chill, cozy night in. Honestly, I don't really want to do anything. I'm quite tired and still recovering. So, yeah. You can hear me? We'll take you along. We have just gotten home from dinner. Went to the engagement party and then we had a dinner with a friend after that as well. So yes, just got back from dinner. We left the party quite late. We started at 4.30 and then we left about eight o'clock. So by the time we got to dinner and everything, it's like, it's like 10, 15 now. Anyway, well, John and I sat in the car and hung out and talked for a little bit, so. Anyways, 10.15, I am waiting for the water to filter through so I can put it in her bottle, which it looks like it's just about done. I need to have a shower. I don't know why. I clearly don't wear these many socks. And a lot of them are like old and stretched out and so I don't wear them. Like I don't like wearing them. Or like I just don't like, I don't know. Anyways, let's sort it out. <laughs> this is now my new sock box. My black socks for my boots for work, my white socks for all different lengths, and then I have my thermal socks. Monday and the first day back at work I am definitely overcompensating to somehow brighten my mood and lift my spirits to go back to work. I was texting Jared this morning and I was like I can't believe that now I just like have to wake up when my alarm goes off like I feel like I have no basic human rights anymore. Anyone else? You only have to be there at 8.30 today but I was like I haven't been in at all, all holidays so it is 7.15. But yes, today is just a full day of not even PD, just like welcome back, just meetings really, at least money tea is provided, that's, you know, that's quite a nice highlight, I guess, a whole day, so fun. That's why I'm going in earlier now to actually do some work as well, so yeah, I hate editing the car, so I'll see you soon. I have my new lanyard that I made yesterday on, oh. I'll show you with that, you know. It is 3.54 and I'm on the way home to work some more. Okay, I'm not going to talk anymore because I hate editing in the car. See ya!
I'm home. It is very nice to be home this early, except, oh, I came home to do some cutting, but I might watch like some TV while I do that. So that's fine and chill. The staff room had some books to take today. So I got this one, it's Love Does by Bob Goff. I've heard it's really good. So hopefully there's time to read sometime this year. Okay, much better. Um, I just made myself a tea. It's a hot one because it was raining when I made it and it was chilly outside because we were walking in the rain and like my dress was still a little bit damp. So, you know, we're like, oh, hot tea, that will be nice. It's no longer cold outside. The rain has stopped. It is now very hot and humid, but it's fine. Maybe I'll wait till it like cools down a bit. I'll have a little warm tea. Yes, so plan is to cut. This is all the cutting that I brought home. We'll see how we go because I did also want to start editing the Japan vlog. And so I'm sort of like, I need to be more efficient this year. I don't know if I talked about this before, but I was like, work-life balance, yes, but work still needs to get done. And so my goal for this year is to learn to be more efficient in completing that work in a short amount of time, obviously. So then therefore having more time for life, does that make sense? Because I can't change my workload and like, it's just how it is being a teacher. So I'm gonna give myself till five o'clock to cut as much as I can, as fast as I can. And then five o'clock I'm gonna have a shower, wash my hair. And then after that, then I'll edit the vlog until it's time to leave to get to Jared's house. So I'm gonna give myself 30 minutes to have a nice self-care shower and do everything. <laughs> I'm not sure why I decided to do their names for the doors in circles, but that's fine. I'm just, I'm going to hand cut everything, yeah, so it's fine. It is five o'clock exactly. This is the state of my desk. I've done bits of cutting here and there, some like example pieces for my TA to have a look at so she knows exactly what I want it to look like for when she cuts tomorrow. I just filmed a little time lapse on my iPad and just been watching old Zoe vlogs. I know that I don't have good self-control because I'm like, do I keep cutting? Do I cut for another 10 minutes and then have a 20 minute shower instead? Do you know what I mean? I'm gonna do it just because I want examples of everything so at least my TA can do it tomorrow. Okay. this fine Tuesday morning. It is, I've got a text so I can't see. Oh, what's the time? It's 7.40. I'm just having break here and then Megan's gonna come by. We're gonna like do some cutting and lemonade together before devotions. After devotions, we are doing our CPR course, our CPR refresher. And then I think we just have a meeting at one and the rest of the day is like stuff. Just like doing, like catching up and stuff because pretty much most of today is all the CPR courses because like first aid takes longer and they're doing two sessions of that. It like goes for the whole day. So we're pretty much free. But yeah, it'll be good to get started on some work, put some things up in the classroom, do some like admin. But yeah, that's the plan for today. It'll be great, thank you. Yeah. What's going on in Brisbane? It's summer. and I'm sorted myself out now. It is 4.53. I decided to stay a little bit later and keep working on stuff just so that I could come home and not work, right? C mm, compensating to, for my for the work-life balance. Anyways, right, that makes sense. I stay a little bit later to work and then I leave and I come home and I don't work at all when I get home instead of leaving early to come home to work. Right, makes sense. <sighs> Clearly my wardrobe is too full. I think I will start my journal today. Yeah, I'm like not very prepared. I don't have a lot of things to like put in it or put on it, but I thought we'll just start it. Thought it'd be a cute 
fun thing to do. And then I will, I think, have a shower and then edit the vlog because I didn't get to do it yesterday. So I didn't stick to my times very well, I know. I might do the journal for about 20-ish minutes or maybe till like 5.20 and then I will go have a shower. Got our CPR done this morning, had a few meetings here and there. I had a bunch of like online modules to do, like all the child protection things. Yeah, I spent a lot of time cutting and laminating. I put my door display up though. It's not fully done yet. The kids' names still need to go up, but I'll show you that when it's all done tomorrow. It's already Wednesday tomorrow. There's so much to do. It is three, it's three, it's not three. It is 4.31, I am just leaving now. I don't know what the plan is, I don't know what's happening. I was supposed to hang out with Mung and Amy tonight and oh, why is there a child sitting on the side of, oh, oh, okay. Oh, this is awkward. Anyways, we're supposed to get dinner with Mung and Amy tonight, but I don't know if that is happening anymore. I'm kinda tired to be honest, I could benefit from a night at home. Sorry for the background noise. The groundsman is blown leaves. Cause the kid's coming in today. Happy Friday. Today is setup day. Today's also the first day that we get to meet the kids who bring in the stationery. And if they don't, we'll see them on Monday. Yes, so I'm in a dress today and I've brought heels as well to get changed into later after all the setup stuff is done, after all our meetings are done. Yeah. I don't know, I'm feeling just, I'm fine, you know? Okay, let's go. Morning. It's Saturday. You're sitting in my makeup drawer. I thought we could get ready and have a little catch up because we haven't chatted in a very long time. Just did my skincare actually. I use this moisturizer and have been loving it. Very good. So yesterday was the first day that we met all of our kids. Well, not all of them actually. Those who bought their stationery early and brought them in for us to start packing and putting away. It has been such a busy week that I feel like I haven't had a chance to really show you all that much because I've been forgetting. Like, 
not forgetting, but it's like, you know, the last thing on my to-do list. So second year, I am still in the same classroom, still teaching prep. Things are pretty much the same, except I now have a new team role. So every team has five different roles for the grades that have five streams of classes. Each person just takes on one role. So we all have a different role. I was curriculum maintenance last year. So really all I had to do was maintain the curriculum, the curriculum, which was nice because I was new and it was my first time teaching all of the units. And so it was good to be able to see what was coming up and know what to do and be able to have some more time to familiarize myself with the units. This year, however, a new teacher came in. The teacher from last year who did admin went out. And so naturally I took over the admin job and the new teacher has now taken over my CM role. It actually is, well, is it funny? I don't know. So in my interview, I was asked which of the roles that I would prefer to take on. And I said admin because generally I do love admin, not on top of my already big fat workload. So I've just been familiarizing myself with the admin jobs, but not only familiarizing because there are so many jobs that need to be done. I feel like I have done so many already this week and still have so many more that need to be done. Anyway, so I'm going to bed trying to remember and figure out all of these jobs that I need to do, but I'm trying to sleep obviously, and it just has been a bit, a lot. Anyways, it's fine. Today is a work day. Well, it's Saturday, but Jared and I are going to work because I have so much work that needs to be done. I haven't done my planning for the week yet, so I definitely need to do that. That's my top priority. And then I need to finish all of the other admin jobs that were supposed to be completed by the end of this week. Because we are in prep, there's a lot more admin stuff that needs to get done because basically we handle all the finance and all the budgets and really just everything, the ordering of everything. Prep is the only grade that does cooking and we need to buy our own things for cooking. But then I also need to buy the generic things like flour, sugar, salt, oil, that kind of stuff for each of the classrooms. And so I need to handle that as well. This week I have ordered 80 pizzas for our pizza party on the first day of prep. We do a half day, we have a pizza party, so that will be next week. I need to put in the stationary order. I need to do the bulk order for the kitchen. <laughs> then I need to look at all the other admin jobs because that's just the ordering part. It like is fun outside of, you know, the rest of my workload. But with it all, it can be a bit much. That is pretty much what I am doing for the year at work. Um, hopefully I survive. Oh, actually, I'm also going for my proficiency, my proficiency thing. You know, you guys know, you know the thing. Yeah. Anyways, I'll also be going for that to get my full teaching license this year. Hopefully it doesn't take too long and be too painful. I am excited to get that. But yes, that is the plan for work for the year. But so yes, yesterday I met some of the kids, some of the parents who brought their stationery in to say hello as well. After that, I went to, well, I went and did a little bit of work with Yasmin and then went to pick Jared up from work in the city and then we went to the shops to get ingredients for dinner and we just made pizzas and just chilled at home honestly we were both very tired from the week i speak for myself i was very exhausted from the whole week but yes plan for today is to really just work i think we will go out and get coffee first and then go to the shops to get groceries for the week so i need to get things for our cooking in school this week i'm gonna quickly finish getting ready I've just done a bunch of work this morning. 
So then, let's go with that. Apologies for the retainer lisp, but I hope you liked coming along for Staff Week. First day of school tomorrow. Yeah, here's to term one and the next 10 weeks. <laughs> so fun. At least this coming week is a four day week because of the public holiday on Friday, which will be very nice. So very excited for that big day tomorrow. I'm just going to chill in bed and relax while I still can. So good night and I'll see you in the next one.